Let me time this out for you, folks, uh, hour by hour. If you take a look at our uh, Max machine, here we go. Uh, hour by hour now, we got this heavy rain that's out there with us that's going to continue to push toward the metro area. You see, by 7 o'clock, we're still dealing with some of that heavy rain uh, and lightning as well. Hopefully, by this time, nothing severe. But as this pushes over toward the east, notice now we're getting into the 9 o'clock hour and the 10 o'clock hour. We're starting to get into that daytime heating as the sun begins to rise. Uh, so the, expecting these storms to become a little bit more powerful as they push over toward the east. Notice it will be over toward the Augusta area by 1 in the afternoon. Afternoon by 12, we'll still be dealing with some isolated showers left over, and I suspect those showers is going to, are going to stay with us right on through the evening. In fact, there's hints that they will be around at least through Saturday morning uh, with the cloud cover in place. But behind that front, some colder air will begin to move in. So high temperatures on Saturday will only be in the 50s, folks. You're going to need our weather app. If you don't have it, go to your app store right now and download that. It's free of charge, of course, when you go to your app store. Look for the 11 Live News app. Download that. You can have uh, our, find our interactive radar. You can also track the storms along with us right through your neighborhood. Let's get a check on the traffic now.